What's up guys, I'm Brent, and we're back with the Dune series where we are in the Kaladin library building it out for Unreal. So this video is going to be just a door, then I'm going to break this up into a few videos this week just because I feel like it's too dense in one video. Then in a few days, I'll drop another video on the doorknob, the outer part of the door, the stone slabs, the Dune light that is so satisfying to see in the scene, which I thought was like one of the most clever pieces of set design for the whole movie. Let's get started. Okay, so to set this up, first we're gonna make our mesh maps. We're gonna select our output size. I'm gonna start with 4K. This is the ZBrush sculpt I did. Set the mesh ID to random. And the curvature, we're going to turn off auto tone mapping. And for thickness, do the same normalization off. Bake our maps. Then we're gonna throw on a base material and let's break this down. So I'm just gonna turn every layer off to start. I'm gonna set my color space to Asus. Then what we gotta do is uh, we'll bring in our reference. So you can see here the, the contrast, uh, this is on that base level wood. The contrast is way too much. Uh, I don't really like the knots in it either. But one of the things I'll do first is I know that I need to put the inner door and the outer door on two different layers. So I'll just make the two different folders for that. Then we need to mask each one. So I'll put that wood Nordic in the first inner door. All right, so let's just adjust the scale a little bit. Then I'm going to knock down the height range and the normal intensity. And I'm gonna take up the roughness a little bit so we get a little bit more response. Now I'm gonna go in and start uh, looking at some of these other layers. So this first one is just a contrast and luminosity. I have to do a little bit of guesswork here just because the lighting is a little dark, so it's kind of hard to tell what's going on there and went into roughness, and I just want to bring those roughness values a little bit closer together so that the knots weren't taking on so much specularity. That's not really what I wanted. I want the door to be a little bit more uniform. Then I'm going to add another levels here for base color, and I'm just clamping the out min and out max to make it a bit darker, bringing the values closer together to further match what the door looks like. The door actually has a pretty low contrast with its wood grain details. Now we're gonna check out the wood fibers layer that they had there. Uh, I just wanna really stretch these out a bit lo longer than they were. So just adjusting the amount, the length, thickness, and the warp. Now I'm just adjusting the height because it was a little too much. So I'm just gonna take it down a little bit. Adjust the color. Now I want to warp the uh, wood fibers with the height map from the wood rough. So I'm just going to add in that warp, use a custom noise, and then we're just going to use the height from that noise to drive the, the warp direction of those wood grains. So it's going to use the height information from the wood rough material layer because of that anchor, and the wood grains will move over top the knots and the other shapes in there. So now I'm just adding back in that dust layer, which is just a cavity map and redriving it a little bit. It's just a really simple material layer, it's just, you know, desaturated grayish red and uh, a little bit of roughness value. What I'm doing here is I need to add a grid pattern, which is going to break out the planks. And the purpose of this is that I want to offset the wood roughness material and some of the other signals that I have per plank so that I can offset them in the X direction and the Y direction. So I need to break out the left and right planks and the middle plank. And you see that I had an issue here with my UVs being a little bit warped. Uh, so instead what I did is I used a planar projection which would fix that issue entirely for me. Then here I'm just going to add a little bit of edge breakup and some color variation. Then here what I tried to do was I needed to get some of that fine curvature detail, kind of those like dark nicks and things like that, like almost like a oil building up or people touching that door on the edge or like boxes scraping against it. And then for this, what I wanted is I wanted to cut these, like I saw these kind of irregular striations that I wanted to push a little deeper in the door just to add a little bit more characteristic to it. You can see here I'm just dialing it in and then warping it a little bit. And then a few of the last touches that I wanted to put on this was just an overall graininess to it. 
So I just took this noise, clamped it, pushed it around, driving it in the color and roughness and height. For this section, I'm just doing the same things that I was doing on the inner door to the outer trim. So adding in those different plank variations and scale and offsetting all those. Then I added this little gradient that goes from the bottom of the door up, which so the bottom of the door is gonna be hitting that dirt the most. Then I added in this wood grain texture so that I got some a little bit more breakup and I could see the variation a little bit better. And then I went in there and hand painted a bunch of little scratches went in and hand painted some of this grunge that goes across the door on each plank. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please drop a like and a comment down below what you liked or didn't like and what you'd like to see in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video.